This is the old uh, Bishop's Palace. It was built in the 12th century and uh, it was one of the most impressive uh, buildings in medieval England. Let's have a look around. Now it's seen a lot of history, uh, most notably when it was vandalised and partly demolished by the parliamentarians during the English Civil War. Back in the 19th century, it was the residence of Bishop Edward King, who was Bishop of Lincoln from 1885 until his death in 1910. And he's the subject of the story I'm about to tell. Now, there are several different versions of the story, but the components of the tale are basically the same. One stormy night, the bishop returned home. It was late. He was about to retire to bed when a maid informed him that a messenger had delivered the news that a good friend of his was gravely ill. Now, the messenger had said that the man was not expected to last the night. So, concerned for his friend, the bishop left the palace into an ever-worsening storm. As he made haste, he had the curious feeling as of someone by his side, yet he could neither see nor hear anyone. But the sensation that he had a companion was extremely strong and continued until he reached his destination. Now when he reached the house to which he had been summoned, he was surprised to find the door opened by the supposed dying friend, who was in perfect health. He was greatly surprised by the bishop's visit. He had sent no messenger. The whole thing was most odd. On his way home, the bishop once again had the strange sensation of being followed. But unaccountably, he was not in the least bit afraid. Some years later, the bishop received word from Lincoln Prison that a prisoner waiting to be hanged urgently wanted to speak to him. The prisoner said that he didn't wish to meet the hangman with any crime unconfessed. So the bishop listened as he said, Do you remember that wild stormy night when a messenger sent you on a false errand? Well, I was that messenger. I intended to rob and murder you that night. I'd have done it too, sir, if not for that giant of a man who never left your side. The bishop was shocked by the man's confession. He was about to tell him that he'd been alone that night when he remembered the feeling of being accompanied by an invisible presence. Could it have been a guardian angel sent to protect him? Well, Bishop King went on to do many good works for the poor and the needy of the city. A fanciful tale, you may think. Quite possibly, but an interesting piece of folklore, nevertheless.